So today is the first of what I am hoping will be a series on this channel. I had this idea to challenge myself to create different looks, different aesthetics based off of thrifted finds. And I wanted to do this because I think there can be a common misconception that, you know, if you thrift or if you yard sale, um, you have to have this certain look. Um, you have to really want vintage things. You have to really have like a certain color palette. Um, you have to really like baskets and you have to put them all over your home and all over your walls. And like those things are great. Um, but I wanted to create a video and show you that if you have more of a modern style, if you have more of a mid-century modern style, if you have more of a farmhouse style or cottage or whatever, uh, I wanted to show you just going into the thrift store one time, some pieces that I could find to fit those styles. So I'm gonna take you guys in the thrift store with me today. We are tackling farmhouse industrial and cottage. I think that this series is going to not only be helpful to you guys and the rest of this community, but I think it's gonna be helpful to me too. Um, as I've been doing this, I've been Googling these terms and I've been searching them on Pinterest and it's really helped me to look around my house and see, you know, oh, there's a little glimpse of that style and there's a little glimpse of that style. Because many of us probably are not 100% one of these styles. And we sort of can pick and choose and pull a little of this and a little of that to make our own unique style. So I'm going to take you guys with me in the car and in the thrift store and show you what we're looking for and we'll see if I have any luck. So I'm about to head into the thrift store. Today is day one of gathering items for my thrifted aesthetic videos. And the two styles that I'm going to be looking for today are industrial farmhouse and cottage. So before I go in, I wanted to do a little bit of Pinterest research and talk about actually what those even mean. So as I'm looking here through Pinterest at industrial farmhouse, the main two themes that I'm seeing are uh, dark toned woods, sometimes light toned, but mainly dark toned woods, and then um, galvanized metal or just like deep metals in general. Those two things together, they look sort of warm and inviting. They also look like a little bit moody. So that is what I'm really focusing on. Uh, I'm looking for metal baskets. I'm looking for um, wooden frames. I'm also looking for textured things. So maybe um, textured pillows, sheepskin rugs, stuff like this. Now, when I'm looking for cottage design, I'm looking at a little bit of a different look. Um, I'm seeing lighter. It feels lighter and more airy. So, whereas the industrial farmhouse is really cool and sort of has a lot of contrast, the cottage uh, feels very um, calm and um, I'm seeing lots of grays. I'm seeing lots of whites and creams. Uh, the tone of wood that I'm seeing is more of a medium to light wash wood as opposed to a dark wash wood. Um, there's also room in the cottage style to refinish some furniture in more of a pastel color. So I'm seeing a little bit of robin's egg blue. Um, I'm also seeing some more ornate details, especially if you lean more towards the French country cottage so so yeah this is going to be fun i think it's going to be fun to educate myself on kind of what these styles like and sort of hone that skill and also to figure out where i fall in this so let's go in i'm going to see what we can gather see if we can create sort of a curated look here this bar stool is the perfect example of farmhouse industrial seating. I love the mix of the dark wood and the dark metal. This is perfect. And these bar stools are the perfect example of cottage seating. I love the white color. I love the chippy texture. These are perfect too. I think the detailing, especially in the shape of the legs on this end table, would make a wonderful table to fit a cottage style. You could stain it a different color. You could paint it. I really think that this could be a cool piece. So I went and found a fairly neutral colored couch that I thought would accommodate both of these styles, and I just set them up. So at this end, we have our industrial farmhouse finds. I have 
mixed woods, I have metal, I have dark colors. I love the texture on this frame, the imperfect details. If you look, it's next to a fur pillow, so we're sort of bringing in that warm, fluffy texture. I think that the colors over here with the book, with this hourglass, with this bowl, really help to bring in those deep wood tones. Now as we look over here to the cottage, there's a definite change in feel. Everything is lighter and brighter. You notice a lot more whites. This wicker basket is whitewashed. The frames are either white or this light blue color. I also thought that this floral lampshade could be cool if you leaned more towards that side of the cottage style. Also this glass carafe could fit multiple styles including cottage. This detailing is so romantic and I thought really fit the style well. And I always say don't get hung up on the artwork. It can always be changed out or painted over. There's a lot that you can do. Try to focus on the character of the frames. So now that you guys have seen the items that I selected, uh, I wanted to show you the ones that are going to be available. If you see something that you like, it may be available for purchase. I asked you guys on Instagram if you would be interested in a curated collection that was made up of things that I bought that you would like to purchase and I got several people that said yes. So this is just sort of our trial run. I didn't really want to invest a lot of money in it if I'm not going to be able to at least recoup that. So I have three pieces from each collection today and I wanna show them to you. So as far as pricing and styling, you guys can look over on my Instagram channel, that's at Yard Sale Squad, and you can go there and follow me and I will be talking about how you can purchase these items and the pricing and all of those things. So starting out with Farmhouse Industrial, I'll show you the three items that I purchased. The first one was this wooden sort of goblet. Uh, now, I think that this could really have a lot of different uses. Um, I think it is pretty evident that it is two different tones of wood. It doesn't necessarily bother me, but for some people, um, I can understand that it may not be their preference. So it's hard to tell, but it looks to me like this might have been a handmade project for somebody. It looks like we may have had two different pieces that were glued together. Again, I'm not really sure. It could have indeed come that way. Um, but I think that this could be a really cute decorative piece. If you wanted, you could use it as something functional like a fruit bowl. You could also even use it, you know, in your bathroom if you have a larger bathroom as like a jewelry display bowl. I could really picture this transitioning well from season to season and putting uh, different types of foliage in it for the seasons. So I really think you could do a lot with it. So this next item actually isn't finished. I'm going to do something different for the artwork, but it is this rustic frame. I love this frame. I think that the color is great. I think that the uh, little imperfections around the edge, kind of with the nail holes and different things, uh, I think it is just beautiful. So like I said, here it is. And if you want to see how it is gonna be styled, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. The last thing I bought for Farmhouse Industrial, I guess is more of an accessory than it is decor. You could really categorize it however you want to, but it is this Nicholas Sparks book. This is a copy of The Believer. And I just thought the colors of this were perfect for that Farmhouse Industrial style. So it's sort of like a gray uh, on the book itself and then the binding is black and then it has gold letter detailing here. And I just think that this perfectly goes along with that style. I could see this next to a metal basket. Uh, I could see it grouped with other things that are sort of that same color. Um, I could see it grouped with any of the things that I already collected from today. So that's my other farmhouse industrial find. Now moving on to cottage, I also picked up three things from this collection. The first was this picture frame and I did get two of these. Um, again, don't get too focused on what is in the frame. You know, this may be a lovely picture to some people. If this is not your style, don't sweat it. You know, that is why 
there are removable backs and if you ever see something that has like a covering on it feel free to just take that off and then you'll be able to get to this part and remove it and add whatever you want to but i think the whitewashed wood and especially playing off of these pastels in here really plays into that cottage style really well so I actually bought two of these in case someone did want to buy them as a set and display them together or if people wanted to purchase them separately. So there are two of these in the cottage collection. My last piece that I chose to be part of the cottage collection was this shallow basket. I love the sort of whitewashed gray detailing. I even considered keeping this for myself because it is so lovely, but I decided to let it go and give you guys a chance at it. So here it is. You can see the depth of the color detailing. Um, I don't know if this was a DIY project or if this was purchased this way, um, but I think that it's really neat. So now that we've looked at the collections, I just want to talk to you about being overwhelmed in the store. So the point that I definitely want to drive home the most with this series is when you go in a thrift store, when you go to a yard sale, I've had people ask me over and over again, how do you avoid getting overwhelmed? So when I go to a thrift store, when I go to a yard sale, I try to have tunnel vision. And what I mean by that is I really look at that one piece by itself for what it is. So if I looked at the entire collection of baskets, I would feel extremely overwhelmed. If I looked at all of the frames and tried to decide which frame would be best for my house, it's gonna be really overwhelming because you have a myriad of styles, a myriad of colors, and it's just competing for attention in your mind. And it can be hard to know what direction to go, especially if something is going to need a little bit of DIY or a little bit of adjusting to make it fit your style. That can feel really hard. So I suggest to look at that piece by itself, separate it from everything around it and think, would this complement? would this go well with the things in my home? Or maybe if you've been creating a pin board, compare it to the things on your pin board, you know, look and see, does it fit? If you changed it up with paint or a little bit of stain, or if you added a new picture to it, or if you added some matting to it, if you grouped it with other things, would it look different? than it looks on that shelf. I've really learned that for the most part, I don't really view anything to be categorized as ugly. <laughs> um, I go into the thrift store and I follow so many different talented people on this platform, on Instagram, and I see them create these wonderfully curated looks. And I have such an appreciation for their style. And as I follow them, I get more and more educated in that style and I get familiar with it. So when I see pieces now in the thrift store, instead of going, that's ugly um, or that's not my style, uh, my framework has totally shifted and I'll go, that looks a lot like Kate or that looks a lot like Hillary or that looks a lot like Corinna or that looks a lot like Andrea. And all these people that I follow, I've learned to really kind of have an eye for what they might pick and what things we might have in common, what things we might have different. I was talking to a girl that actually worked in the thrift store as I was going through filming because it's still like a little bit intimidating when I take my camera in. Um, but I was explaining to her this episode and sort of what it was about. And she was talking to me about her and her sister and how they both liked farmhouse, but she was more like farmhouse cottage and her sister was more like farmhouse industrial and she really liked the metals and things. But she really liked more of the romantic details and the like white sheer curtains. And it was just really cool to see that within this one term, it can mean so many different things for so many different people. So I hope this was fun for you guys. This was fun for me. It's something very different than what I've done before. So we'll wait and see how well it is received. I have several more styles that I would like to cover and I would love to incorporate some yard sale finds into this once yard sale season starts up. And you guys know that I'm ready for the season to start. I am happy to have you as a part of this yard sale squad and I will talk to you soon.